Good morning, I'm Ken Dorn with SWD. I'm like one of the techs that work here. Today we're going to discuss, discuss the uh, wet cup. Uh, the wet cup should only be on the A side of the machine. A lot of the machines I see have them on both sides. Uh, the wet cup's purpose is to keep the A side shaft from having isocrystals build up on it. One of the things that this does, the machine has basically three pumps. You got an A side pump, B side pump, and this is the third pump. People fail to realize this, that this one here, it's spring actuated. It's actuated by the armature and piston going up and down. It has fittings on the side. Two of them are usually blocked off with just Allen screws, plugs. The other two have lines come in. What that does is every time it compresses, it goes down to the reservoir, sucks it up on one end of the reservoir, the filter part, there's a check valve on the other side. So it keeps the fluid circulating around your shaft. One of the main issues that people are doing is when they put these plugs in or the fittings in, they screw them till they bottom out. If you bottom that fitting out, what happens is this spring actuated pump can't work properly because it gets depressed, it hits that, and it bends it. Once you bend it, then you have to buy a new one. You can take these apart and clean these if you want. Um, if you want to do it, you can do that. It's real easy. All it is is an actuator, a couple seals, and a spring inside. When you put this on, you have to take the pump off to remove it. You have to put the pump, put this on the pump, and then reinstall it. So it's not an easy task because you have to pull the pump physically off the machine to get this off. Once you do it and you replace it, put it on there, get all your fittings connected, make sure it works. Uh, the easiest way to make sure it works is you watch the recirc line for the TSL, you'll see an air pocket and you'll see it moving towards the pump. And that'll give you solid fluid. So every time this pump comes down and comes back up, there's fluid flushing around the actual shaft of the pump. This right here, it's got a seal on the bottom. This basically, once you put the pump in there and you get it to where it's supposed to be, tighten this down tight. You don't wanna have it loose because if you have it loose, basically this holds the packing down on your pump. So once you tighten it down, you're holding packing down here. Now you're making this part of the pump. Other than that, this is the main problem I see where people don't check this. Uh, they don't check it's working. Uh, if you don't have, say if it's, a, it's messed up and it's inoperable, uh, what happens is crystals get on your shaft and you start chewing up your seals and your packing. So that's a lot of problems that people have to where they'll have excess fluid coming out, it'll discolor the uh, TSL in the reservoir. So if you see that happening pretty fast, then you know you got a leaking packing. Other than that, if there's any questions, call the SWD Tech Line. Thank you.